Multi-billion dollar projects. Cities placed among the rocks or megacities located right in the desert. Over the last 10 years, construction in uninhabited areas has become very popular in the Middle East. Most of the countries of the region have announced their own construction projects of the century, from oil monarchies to new republics. To fit into the ecosystem or change it for the better, these cities form a new level of human interaction with nature. We'll tell you about four crazy future mega projects that are helping our planet now. Ten thousand eight hundred eleven square miles of sand, mountains, and pristine coastline covering an area the size of Belgium. More than five hundred contracts with a total value of two billion dollars. More than four thousand architects, designers, and builders. All of this is about a mega project called the Red Sea Project, which is located in the middle of the desert and is being implemented on Saudi Arabian territory. As part of this program, a premium class resort will be built with the goal of edging out old-timers such as Turkey and Egypt in the tourist services market. For the implementation of the project, a territory was chosen in the west of the country, in the province of Tabuk. The resort area will cover 112 miles on the Red Sea coast, as well as a portion of the 90 desert islands located in the areas of the cities of al Jaw and Amlaj. It will include not only islands and beaches, but also mountain, desert, and volcanic zones. Due to the hot tropical climate, the Red Sea project will welcome all year round. One of the highlights of the project is the construction of Desert Rock Resort on the west coast of Saudi Arabia, which started in 2019. The initiator of the idea was the Oppenheim Architecture Company, which is engaged in bringing it to life. The main goal of the plan was to combine architecture with nature. Therefore, the development team connected 48 villas and 12 luxury hotel rooms into a single chain within the mountain range. They managed to preserve the natural landscape since non-standard forms of rocks are repeated in the appearance of architectural objects. The Desert Rock Resort continues the natural landscape of the same named mountain range. One will find not only luxurious and well-maintained apartments set apart from each other, but also a world-class spa, fitness center, restaurant, as well as dining areas organized in secluded places. An exotic oasis in the form of a lagoon will be created for guests where they can swim, sunbathe, or simply enjoy the purest air and the bewitching beauty of nature. $400 billion and 234 square miles of desert lands. That's how much it will take to build an eco-friendly city of the future called Telosa City. In 2021, the ex-president of the American company Walmart, Mark Lohr, presented a project for the construction of a new metropolis, which should appear in the middle of one of the U.S. deserts. It will be an idyllic city with farms and green buildings, with energy-efficient design solutions such as solar panels and rainwater harvesting. The highlight of the project is a large tower called the Equitism Tower, which will rise above the Central Park. Pedestrians will be prioritized throughout the city. Bicycles, self-driving cars, EV tall air taxis and vehicles like overhead monorails will be public means of transportation. It is planned that by 2030, 50,000 people will live in Tolosa, and by 2070, the population will increase to several millions. So far, the idea is at the project stage, and the authors hope to attract investors and patrons to it in order to bring their idea to life. To say that it will be difficult to implement this program is an understatement. There are many technical difficulties and potential pitfalls here. However, it is definitely a bold and interesting project worth watching. The exact location where the new city will appear has not yet been determined. It could be Nevada, Utah, Idaho, Arizona, Texas, and the Appalachians. If Tolosa City is only at the initial stage of its construction, then the next mega project from our top has finally taken shape. And its scale is truly amazing. For more than six years, Egypt has been constructing a new capital in the middle of the desert. It is interesting that the new settlement still does not have a name. It is called the new administrative capital, Nak. The city will cover an area of about 270 square miles, which is roughly the size of Boston. The new capital is expected to accommodate up to 7 million people. The entire government and embassies will move into it, and business centers as well as housing will be built there. Thus, the Egyptian authorities are eager to free up Cairo, attract investment, tourists, and international companies. 
create more than 2 million jobs and improve their image on the global scene. Egypt's plans are very ambitious. The tallest building in Africa has already been built there, iconic tower 1,263 feet high. The construction of the tower began in May 2018, and in the summer of 2021, it reached its declared height. The skyscraper consists of 80 floors. The first 40 are offices, 10 are luxurious branded apartments, and 30 are a part of a 5-star hotel. On the 74th floor is an observation deck from where visitors can view the new capital from a height of at least 1,181 feet from the ground. What is more, in three years, NAC plans to begin construction of the 3,280-foot Oblisco Capitale skyscraper, which will surpass the current tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. According to the idea of the authors, namely the IDIA Architectural and Design Studio, the shape of the skyscraper will imitate the Egyptian obelisks. Its design will be eclectic, a mixture of Egyptian style and art deco, a trend in design and architecture of the early 20th century, which absorbed many details from the art of ancient Egypt. Length 106 miles, width 656 feet, altitude 1,640 feet above sea level, total area 13 square miles. All of this is about the futuristic Neom Line project, which is already in full swing. The new metropolis is located in the northwestern part of Saudi Arabia in close proximity to the Red Sea. The peculiarity of the line is that it will be designed in the form of a huge line, covered with large glass panels. According to the creator of the project, this is necessary in order for the city to merge with the surrounding area. The line includes two horizontal skyscrapers that can accommodate up to 9 million people. An ideal microclimate will be maintained so that residents can fully enjoy the surrounding nature. All necessities of life will be located within a five-minute walking distance, and a trip to the other end of the city on a high-speed railway will take no more than 20 minutes. Why on the railroad? Another distinguishing feature of line is the absence of cars. Because it will not have roads, cars will not be able to drive within the metropolis. It is assumed that residents will walk or move on electric scooters. The construction of the line is scheduled to be implemented in several stages. The first phase should be completed by 2030. $320 billion will be spent on it. After it is completed, the city will house 1.5 million people, all of whom will be able to live comfortably in two horizontal skyscrapers. Would you be able to live in a city in the middle of the desert or in a hotel room nestled among the rocks? Please share your opinion in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. A lot of intriguing information about the world's coolest mega projects awaits you.